Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to remove the cylinders and pistons from a VW air cooled engine and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it without breaking any fins on the cylinders. So this is what I do. Um, I make marks on the pistons and cylinders in a way that they're not going to come off. I don't use marking pens or paint or anything because after you wash it, it might come off. So I'm going to show you what I do. I use a little drill bit and I make a little hole, not a hole, just a mark on the cylinders and on the pistons. For example, here we have number one, so I'm just going to make a tiny little mark. It's gonna... Here we go. That's a very tiny mark, it's not going to interfere with anything. And I do the same on my cylinder. Here we go. So I know that's number one. I'm gonna do the same on number two. So I make two marks on number two. Oops. Here we go. Got two marks. Now turn my my engine. Make two marks on piece on number two. The tiny ones. That's it. You got it. So, in this way, whenever you wash it, you clean it, you scrap it, you will always stay there so you know where it came from. So let's get this uh, cool tin off. Guys, must remember always use this tin. This is critical for the life of your engine. If you don't use this, you can have big problems in your, in your cooling system. For example, your engine is going to overheat. Not that it's going to overheat, but it's going to heat more than it should. It's not going to cool properly. So um, make sure you use it. Okay, here's what I do. I get my rubber mallet. And uh, as I told you in the other video, this engine has never been stripped before. It's an original VW engine standard. The car's got 47,000 miles on. So it's probably going to be hard to come off. But you can do it without breaking it. So here's what I do. I'm going to hold at the bottom in uh, not just holding, but I'm going to hold and pull out and hit a few times here. It's already loose. Go again. You're going to go rocking and I'm going to hit and pull at the same time. Now I'm pulling. See, I hold here on the stud and with my four other fingers, I just pull it off. You can see a gap there already. And just be gentle, don't hit it too hard. Okay? You can break it. There you go, it's free. So what you do now, you just pull it out slowly. Hold the piston, don't let it hit the bottom because you still, in my case, I still want to use it. So, here we are. We got cylinder one. So, let me get my old rug. I'm going to put it underneath here. This rug is full of oil, it's been dripping oil here. But it's just to protect the piston. So, we're doing the same on this other cylinder. Hit it here. I already lose there. Okay, here. It's a hit and pull motion. So I'm I'm putting my arm against the case and I'm pulling it. You see? That's why I'm hitting a few more times at the bottom. I'm just gonna rock it up and down. It comes off. It's almost there. There we go. Lose. No damage. You see? So same thing again. Now the piston is at the bottom, so you want to hold your hand underneath. There we go. That one's off. I'm gonna hold the piston, turn the engine a little bit. Just so I can fit my 
rug in there. Old oily rug. Here we go. So let's get this uh, circle clips off. Get all of them at one time. One. You need to get longer, long nose pliers. <laughs> it's not as long as you, sh you could and you should be. These are quite loose. Not very good though. On performance engines, I use Teflon buttons, which are they still one day. So let me just get this off. Another trick I do, I heat the piston a little bit, so then it expands, and you don't have to heat the wrist pin as hard as when it's cold. So you just heat a little bit where where the wrist pin goes in that area in the piston, not in the pin. Just to expand a little bit to make your life easier. It comes off much much easier like this. Depends when the engine has been already line board. Normally the center line of the case is off. It's not 100% perpendicular to this line. So the result is that it's going to start damaging your your wrist pins. So here we go. I use a uh, number 14 socket because it's slightly smaller. And you just you see how easy it comes off. There isn't even a uh, uh, way you can actually damage it because it's it just slides off. So that's number one. Here we go number one. Let's do it again. Oh my! My hug is on. Rug is on fire. So here we go, I'm pulling out this one. Let's get the last two clip out. This is normally tricky if you have a short long nose blind. If that's even possible. You need to get longer ones. Here we go. So I'll do the same thing again. Just give a bit of heat where the wrist pin is just to expand the piston a little bit it will make your life much much easier this side a bit as well I'm using gloves but I can feel the heat that's fine so again Have to, to hammer stuff, you know. You don't have to. You don't have to be brute. These are gentle things. And there we go. So you've got your cylinders out without damaging anything. Thanks for watching. Please keep your eye. I'm gonna uh, release more videos on how to strip, how to rebuild, how to modify these engines. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And please subscribe if you if you like it. Thanks very much for watching.